that 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 Hey guys, welcome to Uni Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how you can create stiff felt sheets like this one at home, stiff enough that you can prop them up without any support. Check this one out. Whoa, look guys, no support, no support whatsoever, and it's standing up because it's just so wonderfully stiff. So let's get into it. Always try to go for the biggest sheet that you can afford to stiffen in one go and that will minimize your overall wastage of felt, okay? So that's the felt. You will need some white PVA glue. Now, if you've seen my very first video of stiffening felt, which wasn't a very good quality video, um, you might remember this bottle. This is actually a bottle of bubble mixture that I'd washed out. And I decanted a huge canister of, uh, I think it was a five liter canister of PVA glue. Uh, part of it is in here. Uh, I bought it off of Amazon um, and it's a really good high quality, very high strength PVA. Okay, it's really cheap too. And if you want, I can put links down below. So that's what you need. Then you need some warm water. Um, I suggest warm water because warm water tends to clump together felt fibers even more than what is already there and that will help to kind of further bind the fibers together and produce a really good uh, stiff felt for you. Um, you will need a large bowl along with a whisk okay and finally I suggest you cover up your work surface with some old towels so that your work surface does not get wet um, and now let's move on to the next step. So now I'm going to take some PVA out of my bottle and my bowl is empty right now. I'm going to, I'm going to pour some PVA in there. And I'm deliberately pouring quite a good amount. I would say that's at least just under a quarter of a cup, if not more. Mm, might be about four tablespoons in there. Okay, it's not an exact science. And now what I'll do is I will very slowly add some warm water to it, okay? I've got my whisk in my hand. And the reason why I'm whisking this is so that I can get rid of any clumps that might be forming. So I'm happy with that. It's kind of like this milky liquid, fairly opaque, okay, and that's what we need. Now if you want to stiffen your felt sheet significantly, if you want to create a really stiff felt, you can add some more PVA glue. So I'm going to begin with the lightest colors, and for these lighter colors, I don't want to stiffen them too much. Um, I've got some projects planned out for which I just need gently stiffened felt. So I'm going to leave the consistency of the solution as it is, okay? Um, now, if you look at my stack of felt sheets, before I started filming, I'd actually organize them from the lightest color up to the darkest. So obviously black is on this side, white is on this end, and all the shades in between. Um, according to vary, varying darkness are in the middle. So we will always pick up the lightest color first. So I'll start off with the white felt sheet first, okay? And I'm just going to dunk it in. And now once it's saturated, you just want to squeeze out the liquid, okay? Don't wring it, just squeeze it out. And plop it on some towels right there and now we'll move on to the next so I've got yellow
Okay, so um, I'm thinking maybe now I should add some more glue because these darker shades of felt, I want them to be a bit more stiff for the projects I've planned out. So. In with the blue. So I'm going to add a little more water because I can feel you, when you run your fingers at the base of your bowl, you'll be able to feel that silken PVA in there. And I can feel quite a lot of it, so I can safely add a little more water. A piece of green felt. Don't be scared if it looks white right now. The PVA is going to dry clear, okay? So you'll be left with beautiful stiffened felt at the end of it. Trust me on this one. Right guys, so all of our sheets of felt or pieces of felt have now been saturated with the PVA and water mixture. What I'm now going to do is hang them out to dry. So I'm, I've got an indoor error with lots of pegs on it and I'm literally just going to clip them on one side, okay, and drip them dry. Um, underneath the peg hanger, I'm going to put a towel or a rug to catch the drips. I know there will be quite a few drips, okay, and these sheets should take um, either overnight or a good 10 to 12 hours to dry, if not more, okay? Um, you can speed up the process by uh, maybe running a dehumidifier in your room or hanging them near a radiator, or if it's a hot day, hang them outside. Either way, they need to be um, air dried. You should not never, ever, ever put them in the tumble dryer. So I'm going to do that and come back to you and show you what they look like. Guys, if this video is making sense, please do give the thumbs up because that'll help me know that I'm on the right track. Thanks. Okay guys, here I am. I finally set up my ironing station and this is what our stiffened felt looks like. What we have to do now is basically get it into shape and to do that... First we knock over our sheet. Stay still. Okay. So, we have to start ironing so I'm just gonna kind of wrestle with it to open it up, okay? And today I've actually got my biggest iron in the house well i've just got two so i've got the bigger one i'm gonna dump it right in the middle of this okay can you hear the steam coming out it's loaded full of water and it's steaming away i'm just gonna iron it all out start with the middle because there is going to be loads of wrinkles and you want to push those wrinkles out towards the edge okay
there that's one sheet done let's move on to the next Don't worry too much about the edges, okay? Just press them out, focus more on the middle bits. So there's quite a bit of these sheets that we need to go through. I'm gonna do that off of camera and get back to you. Oh no, I ruined my desk, look. <gasps> and this was a new desk too. <sighs> Hey guys, I'm back and we finished ironing the felt sheets and I'm kind of happy as well as sad because, well I'm happy because the felt stiffened up beautifully and I'll show you that in a minute, but I'm kind of sad because I think I sort of kind of killed my desk. Um, this was um, an Ikea desktop and uh, I didn't think it was designed to put an ironing mat on. Um, and after I'd finished ironing, I lifted it up and I found all these blobs where the uh, Formica paint or whatever it is has kind of turned into these ginormous pimples. One, two, three, and there's a tiny one right there. Oh so, yeah, word of advice, don't put your ironing mat on top of IKEA Formica desks. Moving on. Okay, that's as high as my camera goes. And here we are with our stiffened felt sheets. And let me show you what we've achieved. So, I'm gonna pick up this green felt sheet and look how stiff it is. Whoa. That's like, that's like awesome. It's behaving like cardstock. Um, the red one's actually even more stiffer for some reason. Um, I think that's uh, when we added more glue before we dunked this guy in. I don't know. Look, the white sheet. Awesome. And I deliberately left this one a little bit less stiff than the others. Remember that? Let's check out the black one. Look how stiff this guy is. And we've got all of the other uh, felt sheets stiffened up really nicely. The pink one's my favorite. It's stiffened up the best, I think. Look at that, okay? I'm literally like holding it at the bottom right there where it's touching the table. And look how stiff it is, okay? But we're not quite done yet because you want to have perfectly flat, perfectly stiffened sheets. So what are we going to do? And now I can also show you why um, I always suggest that you use larger sheets of felt to stiffen rather than small ones. So if you look at this white felt sheet, it's kind of smaller, almost half the size of the pink sheet. But look at the wastage. So on the pink sheet, uh, this strip all along the edge will always remain a bit wrinkly. It's, not, it's never going to lie completely flat. And when you transfer that over to the white one, this strip, it's the same amount of wastage, whatever size of felt you use, okay? So if you're using a smaller sheet of felt, effectively only this part of the felt is going to be perfectly flat and usable, whereas the other is going to be imperfect, okay? So now that you know this, always remember to use larger sheets of felt or as large as you can afford to do so. Um, to stiffen up. Okay, now let's see what we can do with this So those are going to be effectively the waste from each felt sheet and That's the felt now and now look See how stiff it is? It's standing up in front of you on its own, no support, okay? So let's do that with the other sheets. Oh 
Okay guys, this is a rare sight. You're not gonna get to see this every day. So let me just show you what's going on. I have just trimmed the edges off of this sheet of pink stiff felt and it's standing up pretty much on its own, okay? Here we go, let me show you. That's the top view and look, look, there's like zero support. Do you see? It's so stiff, it's standing up all on its own okay and that's how effective it is when you want to make stiff felt sheets at home okay remember that because it's going to save you a ton of money in the long run and the great part is this is great quality felt um i know it's got 40 percent uh real wool um because i buy it from a local supplier um so you know you can go ahead and buy felt with the exact amount of wool fibers you want um, and then stiffen them and you don't have to go for that cheap Korean felt or whatever felt that's available online which is stiff but it's just entirely plastic fibers um, so yeah that's what I wanted to show you and uh, I hope this has been helpful and that's the amount of uh, waste felt or waste felt edges um, that you get from each sheet of felt, okay? So by waste, I don't mean that you kind of throw them away in the bin. Please don't do that. Um, use these to make other stuff, uh, and I'll give you some ideas in future videos of how you can use these scrap edges of stiff felt um, uh, for more projects. But yeah, that's what this looks like. I've done, I've trimmed away the edges on three stiff felt sheets to show you kind of what they look like. They're amazing, they're really stiff, they're perfect to work with, really easy to sew as well. Um, and yeah, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up, okay? I'm a brand new channel, I'm almost a baby channel, so, so your support is really appreciated. Um, also subscribe to my channel, because I'm posting out new videos very frequently. Um, and go check out my blog, it's called unicrafts.com, and I'm kind of trying to put up up close images of all the stuff that I do here on there so you guys can kind of slow down and take a look at every step so that's really clear for you. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.